Hello good people and welcome to my showcasing of Mac OS 10.7 Lion. Uh, this is the developer preview and today we're going to be looking at Spaces and Mission Control. Um, so today, today um, the reason why I'm going to show Spaces and Mission Control is because they kind of go hand in hand. Um, everyone's familiar with the feature of Spaces, but Mission Control is the incorporation of Exposé into Spaces. Um, and I'm going to start very simple just going with, um, with Spaces. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the options that we have for Spaces. I'm going to go into System Preferences, click on Exposé and Spaces. Um, so right here, you guys will see a new interface. Instead of having the pluses and minuses uh, to add columns and rows, now we just have one row. Um, and I can add how many I want in the row by um, coming to the space count and changing it. I like it at six. That's what I had before. I'm going to leave it at six. My, I can also assign certain applications to open in these individual spaces. So I can click the plus and click from applications I already have open. Or I can go to other and choose applications. I mean, I can assign them a space to open up every single time. So I can have one space for email, one space for internet, one space for Twitter, one space for address book and iCal, whatever I so choose. Uh, so those are some of the new options you are given with uh, with spaces. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys how spaces work. So um, if I do uh, command the command button and the arrows, I'll shift from one space to another, and I can go back, and I can even shift all the way into dashboard, as you guys are seeing right now, and shifting back. Uh, so that's spaces, new animation, new features, new interface for the most part. Um, and now we're going to take a look at Mission Control. Um, so Mission Control, as I said earlier, was Apple's incorporation of um, Expose into spaces. So I'm just going to open up some windows. Uh, and I'm going to activate Mission Control by pressing the F3, which is my expose button on my Apple keyboard. And this is the interface of Mission Control. So as you guys can see, um, it has the expose part with the um, different applications separated. And it um, has a little blue ring around it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but it also has the icon for the application as well as a label so I know what application it is. So just simple changes and tweaks to Exposé, but um, definitely improving uh, the way that Exposé works. Um, and I can switch between desktops by just clicking them at the top right here, and this is kind of the Spaces feature. Um, and I can also um, move applications to uh, different spaces, so I can click on Address Book, move that to Desktop 4, move iCal to Desktop 5, click on Desktop 3, move it into Desktop 1. And that's really it for Mission Control. Um, these are, I'm really liking Mission Control. I think so far it's my um, my favorite feature, and I definitely think it's going to um, reinvent the way that we use Exposé and Spaces. Um, and for Spaces, I I'm a really big fan of the new single row instead of having the um, the crazy multiple rows and columns. I think I think the changes that we're seeing in Lion are definitely for the better, in my opinion. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. My name is Matt Fisher. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and take care.